they do not have any sort of, you know, markings on them. They're just a back road. And the roads that go to my mum's house from my house are back roads. So we were coming home from mum's house one day and a lorry. We have an Italian car from being in Italy. It's a long story, but basically it was John's mum's car and we now have it because we can't afford another car. So we're stuck with this Italian one. And so the, 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 we, the steering wheel is on the left-hand side. So I was in the passenger seat on the right-hand side. So we were driving this way, a lorry was coming towards us and it sideswiped us and um, damaged the wing mirror. But in the dark, all I could see was headlights coming at me and I felt the car get hit. So that set off an anxiety attack, um, which I think is fairly understandable. Um, what is unfortunate though is every time I got in the car since, I am like, I can feel my chest getting tight. I'm, my hands are shaking. I have to concentrate so, so hard on what I'm doing. Um, so I've not been really out since. I've, literally, I think I stopped going up to my mum's. We've been in and out of lockdowns, so that didn't help. Um, but I've not really left the house in a couple of months other than to go to the doctors. Um, now, a lot of people haven't. It's There's a lockdown on, but I don't know how I'm going to fare when I do have to leave the house again. So that'll be interesting. Am I waffling? I'm sorry. Um, yeah. So that's the kind of reasoning of where I've been. Um, between grief and sickness and anxiety, I was not in a headspace to film. Um, but, you know, time has passed and I feel better now. Not perfect, but better. So I want to kind of resume this. I've missed it so much. I've missed you guys. I miss the interactions. Like I wasn't really on Instagram either or doing much. So hopefully I'm in a better place now to do it. Um, it's the first time I've had makeup on, second time I've had makeup on, sorry, in about six months. <laughs> so it feels really fucking weird on my face. I'm like, oh God, it's so like, um, yeah, that, you didn't need to know that information, I'm sorry. So, uh, I'm kind of stuck though now for filming ideas, so I need your help of what you would like to know. Um, would you like me to go into kind of more detail about the post status, the pregnancy with Elf in general, um, maybe the other pregnancies? Um, one thing I want to do, and I don't know whether I'm strong enough yet or not, but um, I want to detail kind of my, my descent, let's say, into my mental health problems. Um, for those of you who don't know, I suffer from something called borderline personality disorder, which is kind of, let's say, bipolar's cousin. It's not as widely known, it's not as widely suffered and um, it's very, it, there are similarities to bipolar but it is its own little beast. So I do think because it's not as widely known, because people don't understand it as much, I would like to do a video about it if you guys would be interested. Um, yeah. So I'm open to ideas, whatever you guys want. Um, I'm also, one thing I am excited about is I think I'm going to do a haul because I am not in my pregnancy clothes, maternity clothes anymore. So <laughs> I need clothes. I have nothing. I'm just, I'm still in literally t-shirts and tracky bottoms because that's all I've got. So I need to do, oh wow, my hair looks atrocious. Um, I need to get some clothes. So I was thinking of doing like a plus size haul if you guys are interested. Um, yeah, so let me know, comment below, tell me what you would 
like to know. Uh, excuse the setup, by the way. Um, since Alf came, <laughs> we have less room and less space. So, um, my bed, Amelia's bed. Amelia sleeps in my bed, so that's kind of pointless. Yeah, I'm going to try and figure something that it's a bit more professional looking because this does not look good does it anyway I think that's it I think I've kind of given you everything you need um I am going to do a video maybe not all about pregnancy unless you guys specifically want that but definitely a me selfie video um because you guys that were there at the beginning you want to meet him i guess i'd want to meet him he's really cute he's quite funny too i know he's only like eight weeks old but he's pretty funny he does come out with like some looks that you <laughs> oh shade from the eight week year old okay then so yeah it is nice to be back it's nice to talk to you and um if you'd like to subscribe to the channel that would be awesome because you know it'd be nice to have some more friends <laughs> i know i'm pathetic i go on a friend hunt at every video but they are few and far between at the moment so it i love talking to you guys come join me on instagram um my handle is a dot spoonful dot of dot wtf um I really love talking to you guys on Insta. You brighten my day. You really do with your messages. You don't know how much it means to me. Um, I've made some lovely friends on Instagram. And I call them friends because I would probably talk to them a lot more than some other people in my life. So yeah, come join me there. You will get daily updates on the kids. Um, cheeky pictures, that sort of thing. That's it really, yeah. So it's been good talking to you. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this a like and a thumbs up and um, I will see you soon. Bye.